Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Touch 21 here. I'm going to show you all another some Mac tutorial. This one has to do with Skype. Uh, let's say um, you guys have Skype, right? And uh, for Mac users, they got a little less, you know, leeway compared to the Windows users on Mac for Skype. Why is this? Because Windows has version 4.2, Mac is only on 2.8 or 2.9, I believe. Uh, the Windows users, you can s play games with all your people in the chat, and you can you can see the chat profile picture. Um, but on you know Mac, you can't. All right, so I'm gonna show you all just a cool little Skype tricks here, and what you're gonna do. Okay, um, one way is how to edit your ringtones on Skype. Such as when you log on to Skype, when you get a message, basically any ringtone possible. You're gonna click on, you're gonna go to Skype, and you're gonna click on Preferences. You're gonna go to Notifications, and you can see all these things, um, all this stuff. All right, the little megaphone right next to it means like it can speak to you. All right, you can speak the text. So let's say I got incoming call. All right, I have this little custom ringtone. Let's not do that actually. Um. So it says outgoing call, right? And it says calling contact. Like none of these have the speak text um in your like actually checked. All right. So let's say calling contact answer the phone. All right. So basically, when I call calling someone, contact answer the phone. Okay, so see, as you know now, the contact, the little contact thing just means, like, you know, which person's ca calling. Alright, so let's say I'm going to call my friend here. Alright. I don't know if he'll connect him or not, because no, none of my friends are online here, actually. Yeah, so. Can't really show you guys, but anyway. It's how you make custom ringtones through, uh... Through Skype, you know, through like when you sign in, when you sign out, when you get a message, when you send a message, when you get a call, when you are calling somebody, or when you hang up on the phone, you know, okay. Next, I'm going to show you guys how to edit a chat. So, I'm going to open up one of my recent chats here. Um, some of these have some interesting names in here. Alright, so when you go to one month, I'm just gonna click on a random thing so I can start editing people's messages. <clears throat> For example, when this thing finally loads, you can only edit people's messages within a 24 hour time period. So I can't edit these people's messages unless they've been within a 24 hour time period. Um, you can also remove messages. And one really cool feature about the Mac is that compared to Windows doesn't. So you can highlight the text, right click your mouse, depending on, you know, I have like a, ma a mouse plug in right now. Right click on your mouse, scroll down to text, and then it can speak it to you. Alright, so let's say, alright, my screen was too fat for it though. Alright, I'll right click it, comes with copy, quote message, edit message, remove message, and whatnot. Speech, you can start speaking. My screen was too fat for it thought out. Alright, see, so it speaks to you. And how to change that person, like let's say that person gets annoying sometimes, it's pretty simple, you just go to system preferences, and then you go into speech, and then you can change the people's, you know, thing. I didn't, you could change like how fast they say it. Alright, so, now it should change from one person to the other. My screen was too fat for the log. Alright, so that's how you, you know, speak it to you. Um, how to remove it, same way, just right click it. And I can remove the message. Alright, now sometimes it depends on, you know, who's the administrators of these chats or whatnot. For the example, the administrator can edit or remove everybody's messages. Me, since I, it just kind of, it's just kind of a weird system actually. 
the administrator can edit or remove anybody's messages. But anybody who's not the administrator can't, it can only edit certain random, totally weird people's messages. Like, I can edit everybody's but the administrator's. Nobody can edit the administrator's messages or remove his messages besides himself. Um, some people can't edit it, can't edit anybody's messages at all or remove anybody else's anybody else's messages at all besides yourselves. Why? It's probably because how much time they haven't spent on the chat. Like, I've been on this chat for, like, ever, and I set the topic, basically. So, I guess the more stuff you do, like, set the topic and whatnot, or call people, Skype considers you as a more high-leveled person in the chat, so you can edit anybody's messages but the administrators. It's kind of a confusing system. Um, so, let's say you start a new chat, and you're the administrator of that chat. You can edit people's messages and whatnot. Alright, so I just removed his message, right? If I go click on his next message, I can edit it to anything he wants. Like, let's say, um, gay. Which he is. He's gay, alright? So I edited that message. On a Mac, it's it shows who edited that message, right? I believe on a Windows, it doesn't. But if it does, one really way, one quick, one cool way to do it is you you take his message well anyway you should know how to do that already um, but that's how you edit and remove messages have messages speak to you and have custom ringtones throughout Skype alright and one last thing confusing process here is when you go to your picture right and let's say you want it to be you know like your Facebook profile picture. You cannot find this picture throughout your system. What you do, it's it's a certain file that only Skype can open. So how do you get this picture to go on Facebook if you like it? You simply click Control Shift three for full screen, four for a certain part of the screen. I'll pick four. As you see, this little thing comes up, and I could just simply drag it across, and it shows up on my desktop now. Pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, guys, I'm still working on my blue Cydia theme, my black Cydia theme. My blue Cydia theme has dock, status bar, wallpaper, and it's got 68 icons. I'm working on getting a lot more than that. That's not enough. Black Cydia only has uh, 58 icons. So, it's hard to make, guys. I'm working on it. It should be out in some time in March near the middle, near the end of March. I just want to thank you guys for watching, and um, rate if you like the hat or not. <laughs> Alright guys, peace out. Remember to subscribe. Oh, and also, check out my other channel. I haven't made a video yet. Check out my other channel, The Sports Talk 101. That's The Sports, with a Z at the end, Talk 101. Um, I got nobody subscribed besides my, Mr. Apple Touch 101. And I want you guys to get me started with a couple subscribers before I make a video. Thanks for watching, and again, rate five stars, comment what I should work on or whatever, and please subscribe.